If you want to build bigger, stronger legs, and you want to do it on tonal, well, you're in luck. Because in today's edition of Tonal Hacks, I'm going to show you how to take the goblet squat, change it up a little bit with a variation, make it far safer and a far more effective exercise that are going to help you build those wheels up so you can wear short shorts on the beach or speedos or whatever it is that you want to do. Now, I don't particularly wear speedos, but hey, everybody's got their thing. Now, I'm Coach Jackson, one of the original coaches from Tonal. Worked there for five years, and I've also coached over over 400, somewhere between 400 and 500 private clients on this device. So I know a thing or two about the Tonal and I'm gonna be able to help you optimize your games. So everybody knows the goblet squat. It's the most popular exercise on Tonal. We all know it, we all love it, but we also kind of hate it. The reason we all kind of hate it is because it's very challenging to hold the handle. And as you increase the weight, there's a couple of problems. Number one, we're limited by the strength of our arms. Our biceps, our elbows, uh, forearms and shoulders all have to hold this heavy weight up. So as you can imagine, your legs are gonna be far stronger than your arms are gonna be. But with a goblet squat, we're kind of limited based on our arm strength. We could only lift as heavy as our arms can actually hold the weight. So that's one problem with the goblet squat. The other problem with the goblet squat is, is that as you get down into the hole, there's a tendency to round forward, to drop your shoulders forward, and to really develop sort of poor posture in terms of your, your lifting. So I'll show you what I mean. As people get down in the goblet squat, because the weight is so heavy, they tend to get pulled down here. And now I'm getting into a, a really poor posture with my head, my neck, my shoulders, and my upper body sort of falling and slumping forward. The other problem with the exercise is, is that for a lot of people, if they struggle with back pain previously, this is an exercise that can put a little bit too much stress on the spine and cause their back pain to flare up. So all those things considered, what can we do about it? How, how do we overcome those challenges? Jackson, please tell us your insider tips to fixing the goblet squat. So let's take a look at a variation that I've used with uh, all my private clients and they absolutely love it. I mean, I'm telling you, this variation is a game changer for people. It's gonna take you from hating training legs to probably maybe training them hopefully once a week. I'm, I'm, I'm kidding, obviously, but it, you're gonna love this exercise and the variation because it's gonna put far less stress on your back it's gonna take away the limitation of your arms and having to hold the weight. You're gonna no longer gonna have trouble pressing that button when you're doing a heavy set and you're tired, you're trying to press the button, it's really difficult. All of those challenges are gonna go right out the window with this variation. And again, you're gonna be able to build big, strong legs. And funny insider story, but me and Tony Horton actually got in a, a leg off competition once on the set. We were filming a, filming a video and he happened to say something about how strong his legs were. And I said, hey, Tony, I don't know if you noticed, but I, I think you got the second biggest and strongest legs in the studio. So I was wearing pants at the time. He was wearing shorts because he was filming and we literally got into a leg off. I took the pants down, we started flexing, we asked people for their feedback and it, it just got weird. But <laughs> we had a good time and I really love hanging out with that guy, he's fun. So let's get back to what I was telling you which is the goblet squat and the variation. Now this is something called a brute belt. Yes, I feel like the rock or Hulkamania holding this over my head right now. This is the belt that you need to use in order to take the goblet squat to the next level. So there's nothing particularly special about this belt. The only real thing that is important about this belt is that it has these little loops on the back. Now, as you can see, it has these little loops on the back that we're gonna to use to hook a T-lock and a carabiner to. And by hooking the T-lock and the carabiner to the back of this belt, it's gonna allow me to hook it up to the tonal. This is the secret of how to take the goblet squat and make it a far more effective exercise. So I'm gonna get rid of the other T-lock. I'm gonna hold this belt. Now, again, there's nothing special about this. This is called a dip belt or pull-up belt. It's typically used for attaching extra weights to, so you can do chin-ups and, and weighted pull-ups and weighted dips. But again, what I did was I took a T-lock and I took a carabiner and I put it on the back of the belt. So again, you just need to make sure that the belt has these loops on it. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap it around my waist. 
I'll put it on the standard way and then you need to flip it around. So I'm gonna wrap it around my waist. I'm gonna cinch it tight, but not too tight because I have to turn it around. Now I'm gonna turn it around so that the T-lock is hanging out right dead here center uh, in, front of my, uh, in front of my navel, just below my navel. So as you can see, the T-lock's hanging dead center because we need to hook it to the cable so it can pull directly down on the weight. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get into position here. I'm gonna take my handle off. I'm gonna set that over to the side. I'm gonna make sure the weight is off and I'm gonna grab the cable. Now I'm gonna hook this up to the T-lock here. I'm gonna stand in position. I wanna stand with my feet sort of straddling, if you will, the handle. Feet are gonna be uh, slightly pointed out. All your squat cues for goblet squat and, and squat are gonna still apply. So you still wanna have that shoulder width stance. You want your feet slightly pointed out. You wanna anchor yourself into the floor by feeling like you're spreading the floor, activating your glutes, of course, give those a good squeeze. And then since you're standing close to the screen here, you can just tap the screen to turn the weight on and off. And that's the same way I'm gonna turn the weight off. So no fiddling with the handle, trying to adjust. I just turn the weight off at the screen. Now, the one key that you have to be very careful with here, especially as a guy, is you wanna be careful not to snag yourself oh, no. as you're squatting down. So I'm gonna give my shorts a pull up here to make sure I have some, some room. And I'm also gonna tilt forward. I'm gonna hinge forward ever so slightly to make sure that the cable pulls straight and pulls down. I'm gonna cinch that belt a little bit tighter as well, just to make sure I'm, I'm securely locked in because I don't want this to catch my shorts and rip my nice expensive shorts. I also don't want this to catch anything else that's going on around here. You can catch my drift, wink, wink. My wife wouldn't be too happy about that. So now the weight is on, I'm gonna crank it up a little bit heavier just so we can get some real movement here. So I turn the weight on, I got about 60 pounds on here, so not crazy, but enough that I can do the movement and still talk. As you can see, it's pulling down, so it is digging into my hips a little bit, but there's enough padding here that it feels quite comfortable still. And now I'm gonna just do a goblet squat without having to actually hold the goblet. So I squat down, control, and drive up. I'm gonna position myself a little better so my knee doesn't hit the handle. And as you can see, all the cues, everything remains the same, but now I can do this goblet squat hands-free. So I can put my hands in front, prayer hands, steeple hands, if you will. I can put my hands on my hip. I can do athletic arms, using them to counterbalance, if you will, at the bottom and at the top. You can do whatever you want with your arms. That's the beauty of this variation. But notice how now there's far less stress on my spine, far less stress on my upper back. There's no having to hold the handle. So there's also far less just things I have to think and worry about. And I'm now not limited to the strength of my arms in order to do the goblet squat. So with this variation, you're gonna notice a couple of things. The first thing that you're gonna notice is that it's just far more of an enjoyable experience. The second thing you're gonna notice is that there's less stress on your spine. The third thing, your posture is gonna improve during the movement. You're gonna be in a stronger posture. And the last thing is you're gonna get more emphasis. You're gonna get more resistance on your quads where you really want it, where it's intended by the movement without again having to use your upper body. So this is a far better alternative. I highly recommend you check it out. It's the goblet squat with brute belt or any belt or whatever belt that you get. And you're simply gonna attach that with a carabiner, carabiner and a T-lock. So it does require some additional equipment. And then you can just use the screen to tap the weight on and off. So I'm Coach Jackson. Make sure you check out other videos in our Tonal Hacks series and remember, Action is the difference between dreaming and succeeding.